Hey y'all, it's your favorite Lehigh Gap Nature Center intern, Ian, here, uh, coming at you live from a wetland habitat, a real life roadside wetland habitat. You can see there's a car and there's some wet ground. There's a stream over there and over there. And uh, today we're going to talk about skunk cabbage, a really cool, really cool wetland habitat plant. Um, before I get there, I'll address uh, the number one question that's at the, the front of your brain right now, and that is uh, not what is skunk cabbage, but Ian, what is that small mammalian thing on your face? And that's funny and all, but I've paid my dues to the Whisker Patrol, so we're all set. Um, you'll have to deal with it for at least this video. So sorry about that. But anyways, onto the skunk cabbage. So here's some skunk cabbage, and there's some skunk cabbage, some more. Get a good look at it. It's got these huge, broad leaves. And unfortunately, we can't we can't see it uh, as it's flowering. Um, it seems like it's no longer in that sort of flower stage where it's accepting pollinators. But you know, fully leafed out. Uh, skunk cabbage, like I said, grows in wetlands. It likes shadier spots in wetlands, and so wetlands are, are areas that are at least partially wet. Um, it doesn't like fully saturated ground. But skunk cabbage, like I said, is not a true cabbage. And it gets its name because flowering or when damaged or broken like this, the skunk cabbage will release a kind of gross odor. Some people liken it to, say, rotting flesh or kind of a skunky smell, giving it the name. And it's more noticeable, I think, when the, the plants are flowering because they use... Let me get a whiff of that. Yep, it's there. Um, they use that scent to attract pollinators. We talked about pollinators uh, in an earlier video, but skunk cabbages don't really use bees or butterflies as much as they do flies. So I'll ask you, why would they want to use the smell of rotting flesh to attract flies? Well, that's what flies like to hang out at, right? So the flies will go from plant to plant to plant, flower to flower, thinking that they're finding dead bodies, but they'll only be finding more and more skunk cabbages. The skunk cabbages have yet again tricked them, and this is what we might call adaptation, right? So I'll show you some more, some water, some muck on the boots. So here's where skunk cabbage likes to grow. Your next question is probably, Ian, since it smells so great, we can eat it, right? Well, actually, no. Very few animals can eat skunk cabbage there's one part of the plant that we can eat and that's the roots and i'm pretty sure you have to cook it first but as far as i know only snapping turtles some kind of turtles and bears can eat the leaves of the skunk cabbage despite how appetizing they do look would make a great addition to the salad oh i don't know if you notice but there's not a whole lot of other foliage out right now we've got some small grasses hanging around and some leaves coming out from some different shrubs. Uh, not a whole lot of trees putting out leaves quite yet. And even these sensitive ferns here, um, the front, these are still from last season, so they still haven't even had a chance to grow. But skunk cabbage is one of the earlier, one of the earlier showers as far as foliage goes and flowering goes. They have this really neat adaptation where they can produce their own heat. Um, so even when it's still cold out and when there's snow on the ground, they can sort of melt that and get an early jump on the game and establish their presence and they'll hang around all summer. These guys are only gonna get bigger. These are still pretty small. So I'd like to come down in another two or three weeks and just kind of see where they at. Maybe I'll try to recreate this video um, just to show you how they've grown. But that's about it for skunk cabbage. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me here. I'll include my email in the video here and uh, maybe leave a comment or something about what you might like to see next time. So. Thanks everybody and be well.